I usually make coffee content on this channel, but there is this video that has been living rent-free in my mind for many, many months. And it is the potato throwing task in season two, episode one in Taskmaster. The task goes as following. Get this potato into the golf hole. You may not touch the red, green. Fastest wins, your time starts now. When Joe Wilkinson does the task, he throws it into the hole in his first attempt at 14.3 seconds. Oh, we're off. Uh, what, what, but if I can't, if I didn't get it. There we go. <laughs> Later on, we find out that the tip of his right shoe was on the red green. That's joyous. <laughs> Was it? I'm confident that Joe did not touch the red green with the shoe. I looked at a few different shoes and determined that all shoes have a natural curve at the tip that allow them to extend over the red green but not touch it. Joe is also wearing similar shoes to Converse, which typically has a exaggerated bend. I did some tests with a pair of Converse and a yoga mat. As you can see, I have a camera down on the ground and also one showing my stance. And I have to lean forwards and press down my toes to touch the yoga mat here. I also want to note that I used a yoga mat that is 5.38 millimeters thick. You can notice that when Catherine sweeps the red green up, it has a black underside. These mats are similar to the neoprene floor runners, which have a thickness of around 1.6 millimeters, much thinner than what I'm experimenting with. A key aspect to not touching the red green is Joe's impeccable throwing form. With the heel firmly planted on the ground, this means that his weight never transfers to his toes. I've tried moving my weight onto my toes without lifting my heel. And it's pretty hard to do unless you're deliberately trying to do it. Let's also look at how much of Joe's shoe went over the red green. It was just the side tip of the shoe that went over the red green. Compare this to the examples that I have where none of the shoes touched the yoga mat. We realize that it might have been the angle in which the video was shot giving the illusion of Joe's shoe touching the red green. As the leading expert in shoe hovering, my opinion is that Joe's shoe never touched the red green. I don't like it when dreams get crushed. I've watched this scene countless of times and felt the sadness with every watch. On behalf of all the competitive potato throwers out there, I ask you, Greg Davies, to reevaluate this task with this newfound evidence and reconsider the null and void verdict that you had for Joe's potato throw. If you, the viewer, agree with my findings, help me uncrush Joe's dreams and message Greg personally on Twitter with these new discoveries. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I mostly make videos about brewing better coffee, so make sure to not subscribe if you're looking for more content like this. See ya. And to end it off, I actually tried doing the potato toss in my living room, and it's way harder than I expected it to be. It took around 10 tries for me to get this attempt. Noise.